Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video I will show you how to create a system in which the NPC will look at you when you get within a certain range. So let's say we get too close to the NPC, he will look at me, and as long as I'm in the range, he's going to look at me. So let's say we get out of range, and we get in range again, he will turn towards me. And of course, you can customize the speed at which he turns towards you. And with that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go into the contents drawer. Now over here, you want to right click, go to blueprint class and select character. And let's make our NPC or our AI. I'll call it AI. And inside in the viewport, select your skeletal mesh. And you also want to select your animation blueprint in the anim class. So once you're happy, I will quickly set the location and the rotation to be minus 90. And once you're happy, go to the event graph, delete those two guys. We don't need those anymore, or we never did. And from the event begin play, cast to essentially your player character. And for me, this is going to be Brady. So for object, I want to do get player character, just like so. And as BB Brady, let's promote this to a variable, calling it Brady ref. So I'm happy here. Then I will create a custom event, which will be called face player. And from here, I will create a branch because I want to check should we or should we not uh, look at the player. And for this, I want a variable which can be called can rotate. If I learn to spell, there we go. That should be fine. So just get it and put it there. And on true, we will get the reference to our character to a is valid. Select the question mark here, put it in there, and then we can do set actor rotation. There we are for the target. Of course, this is going to be ourselves. And for new rotation, let's break the pin and we want to focus on the Z value. So next, let's get the actor location. So this will be the actor location of our NPC. And we also want to get the actor or the location of our character. So get actor location once more. And from here, for get actor location, do a find look at rotation. And the target is going to be the location of our player character. Now for the return value, what we can do is let's first get a get actor rotation, just like so. And from here, let's do or enter two. And then for the target, plug this into here. Now um, we want this rotation to be linked with the player uh, with the player's frames. So in order to do that, from the delta time, let's get a get world delta seconds, and that should do it for us. Next, uh, break the spin, and we want the Z to go into the Z. Let me just bring this back a little bit and connect the Z into Z like so. And that's all good. But now let's create a delay. So I'll explain why in a second. And on completed, let's get a face player event. So from here, get face player. And the reason we want a delay is because if we don't have this, this code will execute and immediately call this. And this will cause, uh, cause an infinite loop, which we of course don't want. So um, with that said, this uh, is all done. So let's call this our face player event and now we should create the get rotate or can rotate event because we are getting it but we've never actually set it so over here at the bottom create another custom event calling it should rotate and if i bring it over here i want to do a get brady reference and let's do get distance two so we will get the distance from our NPC to our player character. So now if this is uh, a greater or equal to and select whatever value you want, what you saw in the overview was about 250 units, I believe. And if this is true, then of course we will set this can rotate to be true. And if false, we will set it to false. So let's uh, set those guys, duplicate, false will be false, true will be true. And the same thing here, let's do a face player, like so. And from here, get a delay once again, connecting that there. 
this into here. And for the duration, do a 0, 0, 1. And on completed, we can do is should rotate. And that's pretty much us done. So comment your code, calling it should rotate event. And we also want to call this should uh, rotate event on the event begin play. Because if we don't, it's not going to work. So should rotate just like so. And with all that said, if I compile and save, the NPC we will put on the screen should rotate, rotate uh, or look at us if we are within a certain distance, which was 250 units. So there we go. But this is very immediate. So to change that, what we can do, you see the or interp, interp 2, the lower the value, the slower he will rotate and the faster the value, the faster he'll rotate. So for this, I'll set it to like five and that should, or just to show you, let's set it to one and you will see what I mean. And if I get close to him, he will rotate very slowly. So of course, the higher the value, the more he'll rotate. In the overview, I had it at five seconds, which worked out to be perfect for me. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.